We're at the 2010 Remax World Long Drive Championship in Mesquite, Nevada. Lovely Mesquite, Nevada. And I'm uh, here with a, a few of my cohorts in Long Drive where uh, we vie for distance supremacy to prove who's the fastest, who's the longest in the world. Now, I got a good buddy of mine, Jesse Pedersen from uh, Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada. And Jesse's been in the finals of the Remax World Long Drive Championship. He's been a competitor for a long, long time. Good buddy of mine. But he, he experiences a lot of different training methods. He tries to get uh, a great knowledge base. And I let Jesse work with power shoot a little bit the last couple days but uh, what he's going to show you um, is you know some of the things that we work with to try and create big speed we need to start from the ground up hips trunk arms hands at the end power shoot provides the ideal resistance on the way down helps the center club at the top and then transition that through the golf ball to give us huge power Jesse as a matter of fact uh, has the highest ball speed ever recorded on TrackMan, which is a, a distance measuring device which measures ball speed club head speed launch angle, spin rate, uh, Jesse at 221 and some change miles an hour. Is that correct, Jesse? 220.1. Uh, 220.1 uh, during a competition, so huge speed. But I want Jesse to swing this a few times, give us a little bit of feedback uh, while he's swinging the power chute. So what I want him to do, just feel that transition at the top, let the wrist hinge, let everything catch up. So what I want him to do is just feel like a, a beat at the top, to let everything set, and then we can accelerate on the downswing. That'll help with our sequencing, the sequencing of the hips, trunk, arms, and hands to get maximum power. There we go. See his beautiful golf swing, transitions through the golf ball beautifully, big speed, and it'll feel like the fastest you've ever swung the club in your life. There we go, that's some big speed, that's 150 plus miles an hour there. One more, Jess? What's the feeling after you swing the power shoot? Well, I just, I felt one good swing there, it was my second swing, and I just felt that load, you know, and you need to feel that load in the power chute in order to, you know, create the right resistance, like through the impact zone. So, yeah, solid. It's a good product. Yeah. Good deal.